Muscular-like pain or soreness involving the region around the voice box may occur due to tight anterior cervical muscles often exacerbated by talking. This can also secondarily lead to hoarseness as well as difficulty swallowing. Targeted exercises to these anterior neck muscles may help alleviate not only the discomfort, but also improve vocal quality and swallowing. To begin these exercises, your hands should be dry in order to provide adequate grip and friction. Applying liquid chalk or baby powder to the hands makes this easy. So let's start. Our first exercise is the suprahyoid stretch. And we're gonna begin by bringing our hands or our fingertips up like this and placing them right here at the top of our neck, kind of on either side of the throat. Now, if you feel like your hands are sweaty or wet, again, use some chalk or baby powder to help give enough friction because our goal here is to apply enough pressure, pressing together on the skin, and we're pulling that skin forward, creating enough friction so that there is a stretch pulling from the skin into the muscles back here. So gentle pressure here, nice pull forward and just feel that stretch. Now try to keep your head in a nice neutral position and we're just gonna feel that stretch and then we're gonna move our way down. And again, nice pressure. We're not really squeezing the larynx or the voice box. We're just going to apply the pressure on the skin so that we can pull it forward. We're gonna move down into exercise number two which is the infrahyoid muscles, these ones here in the front, just applying gentle pressure and pulling them forward, giving that little stretch. Just taking a nice deep breath. You can move it all the way down. And then work your way back up again. Nice relaxing stretch. Good, I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see it one more time here, from here. And then I'm gonna work my way down, just one finger spacing at a time, pressing on the infrahyoid here at the front of the throat, gently pulling and coming down even a little bit further. Good, you wanna just take the time to do that gently, breathing into it, making sure the neck is nice and relaxed, and again, not applying too much pressure. Our next exercise is the superhyroid massage. So we're gonna take those same muscles, but we're gonna target them in a way that we can massage them. So we're gonna do that by taking our thumb and placing a little pressure right here under the corner of the mouth, which is right below the jawbone. And then we're gonna take it and create just a slight little hook pressuring, creating pressure towards that jawbone. So right here under, and then just gently relax, applying enough pressure where you can just feel it. And then breathe and relax all these muscles. Then take it and move it towards the chin here. And same thing, creating that hook and putting a little pressure right behind that jawbone. And then you can make your way to the other side. You can also switch hands if you like. And we're just applying gentle pressure. It shouldn't be painful or sharp. Again, moving towards the corner back here. And then release. And you can also do this massage using both thumbs at the same time. So we can go ahead and deepen or improve the benefits of this massage by just making a little vocalization like E. So taking those thumbs, let's put them here on either corner underneath the jaw. Give it a good press, inhale and just make a nice little e. Good, now you can feel those muscles activate right under here. So that allows that pressure or that point of your massage to work in a little bit deeper. So then move it one fingerprint back and again, e. So it's just a gentle E, we're not trying to project, we're just trying to activate those muscles as we apply this nice, steady, and gentle pressure. We're gonna move on to a scalene massage. So in order to do this massage, you have to know where that muscle is, and we're gonna target it right here. It's right where the collarbone is, 
um, in between the neck muscle and the trap muscle, which right here forms a triangle. And it's within that triangle that we have access to the scaling muscle. So we're going to take our three fingers like this. You can use two or three and you can do this two ways. You can do this with friction or you can use some kind of lubricant like oil, massage oil. Um, if you want to start with the friction, I'm going to instruct that first. So taking your muscles and placing it within that triangle, you can tilt your head gently just ever so slightly to give yourself more access, but we're going to take the hand up and press into that triangle. And then we're gonna move our fingers back and forth like this, applying pressure as we do to the muscles side to side. So you're gonna feel those muscles kind of up and down. And as you're gonna move across them horizontally, then we're gonna move downwards and then repeat. You can do this all the way till you get right above that collarbone and then work your way back up again. It should feel really nice. So nice and gentle, nothing sharp or painful. If you are doing like a non-friction route or a less friction route with the oil, you can go ahead and, and press two or three fingers into there and start rubbing down from the SCM and pressing into the scalene like so. So let's move on to a sternocleidomastoid massage, also known as the SCM or what I like to call the neck muscle right here. And this is really simple and really nice because a lot of times we don't realize how stiff and sore we are here. All we're going to do is take our two fingers like this and place it around that muscle. So you see this nice long neck muscle here and here at the top, right as close as you can to the skull or the base of the skull here below your ear, we're going to take it and press ever so gently. Breathing in nice and deep, relaxing, and then you can go ahead and release that and work your way down. Pressing and holding and continuing to follow that muscle all the way down. The most important thing is when you do this, you're relaxed. So relax the shoulders, relax the head and neck. If you can, you can tilt a little bit to gain a little more access, but you don't need that much of a tilt because you really wanna focus on applying that pressure on either side of the muscle here. Of course, you can go ahead and massage both sides, nice and gentle, just applying pressure, like a little pinch, and releasing. The next exercise we're gonna be doing is the sternocleidomastoid stretch, the SCM stretch. So the same muscle we were just massaging, we're gonna give it a nice stretch. And this is really amazing to do. A lot of times we focus on the back of our neck, but releasing this equally is just a great practice to check in. So it's pretty simple. All you're gonna do is rotate your head over your shoulder like this, making sure the shoulders are relaxed and down. And then you're gonna tilt your head up slightly like so. And I like to focus on this corner of the jaw as if you were pointing it up towards the ceiling. You're gonna feel that nice stretch here at the front of the neck. Now, if you want to, you can take your opposite hand and gently apply pressure to the opposite shoulder. Just kind of engage it to relax down and just help it relax a little bit more so you can focus on deepening the stretch in the muscle. Again, nothing should be tight, tense, or pinching. So just enough to feel the stretch of that muscle is all you need to give it a good stretch. So breathing in nice and deep. You can hold this stretch for a good 10 to 15 seconds or maybe even a little bit more as you work your way up and then release and feel free to repeat a couple times. You can do this stretch almost every day if you just do it gently. If you do feel any soreness after this kind of stretch, it's a good indicator that you're probably doing too much and need to back off. Let's move into some front neck extensions. We're gonna begin by placing our hands. I like to interlace the fingers right here on the chest. And we're gonna apply a little downward pressure. So if you can do this with dry hands, you can use dry chalk or something to create friction, you can place it here on your chest and put a little bit downward pressure on the skin. And then we're just gonna take our neck and gently lift up. I like to close my jaw when I do this, keeping my mouth shut so that we feel a lot of that stretching happen here in the front of the neck. And you're just gonna raise the trunk of your neck or your chin upwards a little bit until you feel the stretch. You don't have to wrench it backwards. It doesn't have to be intense. Just as long as you feel that stretch here in the front of the neck, you're doing it right. So let's go ahead and stretch together. 
hold it for two to three deep breaths and then release. And now we can go ahead and add some side to side flexion. So instead of just up, let's go ahead and hold this stretch down and maybe gently tilt the head to the side, bringing the ear towards the shoulder. Feel it on one side, breathe in, feel that on the other side. The hands are here to help keep the shoulders down and assist in the stretch. Again, three to five deep breaths in either direction. And just gently moving and really being in tune with what your body is feeling in the stretch. Now you can also maintain the hands here to again, keep the shoulders down and make sure that that neck is being assisted in the stretch. And just do some lateral rotations here. Just chin over opposite shoulder, side to side, relaxing the head, and again, keeping that jaw closed. Only turning as much as you feel the stretch. No straining, nothing hard or tough. This is a place where you can really explore and feel what it is that you need, where you can get the stretch. If you're feeling certain tensions or tightness, you can explore and find little bit more time in those stretches so that you can help release. So let's go ahead and bring our hands together, bring it to the chest, and let's play a little bit with what it is that we're feeling. So starting with that front neck extension, maybe here you add a little flexion, tilting the ear or the jaw up towards the ceiling as you stretch. Play around with it and see what it feels like on the other side. From here, maybe you do a little rotation See where that stretch moves in the neck and what you're feeling. Again, everything's nice and gentle, nice and slow. Just again, exploring, you can make it dynamic or static. So if you feel like you like this stretch and you want to hold it here for a minute, taking a few deep breaths, or if you'd like to move it around, I personally like to just gently roll through the massage or the exercise. The stretch is like this because it feels like a massage. You already hear me saying massage. It feels really nice to just get that nice dynamic stretch in. So play with it, see what it feels like, see what feels good to you, and just listen to your body and stretch where you feel like you need. So we can apply the same technique with an off-center hold with our hands. So bringing the hand over to the shoulder, usually skin on skin is great if you don't, if you have like a fabric that is slippery. But then I like to place the other hand here to just remind the shoulder to relax down. Just give it a nice little bit of a pull. And the same thing, we can go here and extend our neck up and kind of extend over to the side, like away. And just feeling what that feels like. It kind of deepens the stretch here on this side a little bit more. We can play around with if we want a rotation here. And also, if you want to just turn your head to the side. So just like our front neck extensions, we're doing the same thing, but with our anchor point being slightly off center, just feel like how it changes the stretch, how it deepens the feeling onto the one side. Now, of course, when you come to the other side, we'll go ahead and place the hand in the opposite direction. Try turning the head. You're coming and creating a nice flexion here away from that shoulder. Sometimes one side will feel it more than the other. So maybe you'd like to stay on that one side. Go ahead and play with the rotation. And see how you feel. Please keep in mind that these exercises should all be performed gently. At no point should you be exerting any pressure on the cartilage of the voice box and windpipe itself. All manipulation is performed only to the soft tissues, skin, fascia, muscles, and tendons.